students often talk and debate in abstract about important global issues. And we know that that debate and that engagement changes them personally. This is like a dream. We never thought that we would travel to Vienna and attend this conference, but when we saw ourselves here, uh, we were just excited, wow, we have made it. The first thing I did was take, uh, to take a selfie. Model United Nations conferences focus on a lot of ODC mandate areas, so trafficking, firearms, bribery, corruption, cybercrime, but a lot of MUN programs who are already involved on these mandates need a sense of where this fits into the larger UN structure. And so Education for Justice being able to distill some of that and make it accessible to MUN students all over the world, that is a, a great and very unique opportunity here at the United Nations. The Education for Justice has helped us to get trained and learn about the issues that we need to train uh, other young people in Afghanistan. This is really a one-of-a-kind guide that ties UN mandates to a resource that is usable for you know, the general population. I think it's going to be uh, very well received and, and very popular. I think the E4J initiative is, is going to be able to really impact really thousands of students by allowing them to be able to engage on those mandates that maybe before have been a little bit inaccessible. When you go to abroad and attend an international conference and you are talking to them and you are interacting to them, you are exchanging your ideas to them, so that will give you a hundred more ideas and you will be aware of different parts of the world, so that's why. That MUN experience uh, changed us. MUN is impactful personally and certainly impactful enough that two young men and, and their, their supporters went off and launched the first non-governmental organization for Model United Nations in Afghanistan. It is an unprecedented story and I think the entire MUN community is just so proud of what they've accomplished in a very short amount of time. When we saw there is a project by the name of More United Nations and we were interested like, wow, there is a simulation same as UN and young people will be debating on different topics and different issues. So that's why we were like excited. Good MUN programs are able to take those mandates and take those issues and present them in such a way that becomes so compelling for young people that they simply can't help themselves, that they feel that they want to speak and, and debate and problem solve on those. We just started the first ever MUN club in, our, in the country. There were a lot of students who were willing to come to our club uh, and they wanted to learn about MUN. The more young people we can bring into it from diverse backgrounds, the more meaningful, I think, Model United Nations becomes as, as an educational program. The students are coming from different ethnicities, different languages, and they are coming together, they are collaboratively uh, working together, and they are uh, creating solutions for the problems. From the soft skills that make you a better global citizen to becoming maybe the future Secretary General of the United Nations, I really think MUN can span that entire gamut of, of skills and, um, and opportunities. Their thoughts were changed, their ideas were changed, and they had a different concept for their future, and they were passionate about their future and the future of their country. We just want uh, MUN to, to bring changes in the life of youth in Afghanistan. If we are talking about a better future for the world, if you are talking about a world free of uh, greatest challenges, we need to be visionary. I think we would like to feel that we are a small part of a much larger solution. For me, MUN was the right path. It has changed me a lot and it has brought so many beautiful things into my life and it has given me the vision to achieve my goals and through achieving my goals, change people's life and do something great in the future. I think we may be surprised five to ten years from now uh, what halls they're going to be walking in and what kinds of impacts they're going to be making on a much larger stage.